the Incredible Hulk green? Who put the X in the X-Men? And why the heck does Spider-Man wear those pajamas? Let's find out when me, Kevin Smith, talks to Stan Lee, the father of modern mythology, and Stan Lee's mutants, monsters, and marbles. Uh -huh. Stan, the man Lee, co-creator of Spider-Man. I always felt I want to do Spider-Man. I thought it would be good. The Fantastic Four. Bunch of superheroes. But I tried to make them different than the others. The Incredible Hulk. Now I'm going to make a hero out of a monster. The Uncanny X-Men. I wanted to call it the Mutants. Went to my publisher. He said, you cannot call it the Mutants. Nobody knows what a mutant is. And many more. It was almost like there was something in the air at that time. It was like we could do nothing wrong. Yeah. All of them became popular, and all of them seemed to have lasted. Filmmaker Kevin Smith takes us on an intimate journey into the imagination of the father of our modern mythology. The Marvel characters have always been very scientifically men, very science fiction oriented. Where did that come from? I love science fiction, but nobody knows less about science than I do. And all I did, because I'm lazy, I took the easy way out. I figured, well, the guy has to become the Hulk in some way. Uh, I'll let him be hit by a gamma bomb. Now, I wouldn't know a gamma ray from an eggplant, but it sounded good, a gamma bomb and discover the inspiration. And there's that really beautiful moment, too, where uh, Captain Stacy kind of knows that Spider-Man is Peter Parker right. and says, take care of Gwen. That's right. And that's she powerful she never stuff, that. and she doesn't hear that. But that's powerful stuff, and that's not stuff necessarily written for a kid. You know, that's the that that beginning. I wrote for me to uncover the secret origins. Joni said to me, if you're going to quit anyone, why don't you do a book the way you'd like to do it and get it out of your system? Mm -hmm. Worst that'll happen, he'll fire you when you want to quit. So I figured, okay, and I did that one book, uh, The Fantastic Four. Today, Hollywood is producing several blockbuster motion pictures, faithfully based on Stan Lee's world-famous superheroes. Marvel subject, very science fiction oriented, perfect movies on the page. You know, no brainer. And for a while, Marvel could make that happen. And Brian Singer's X Men kind of punched through in a big, big, big way. And for years, Spider Man was held up in legal limbo. Um, and finally, this year, we're, we're going to see the Spider Man movie, which some would say is about 20 years in the making. I don't think there's ever been a time when the, the product of one company is going to be represented so much in movies. This is a great time to be a Marvel fan if you're in the movies as well. Man, yeah. Presented on two complete features, Creating Spider-Man, and Here Come the Heroes. Stan Lee's movies, Monsters and Marvels. He's a must for all fans of comic books and fantasy adventure. Hey, no see ya! <laughs> Good one.